The first GPS satellites were launched in 1978 and in 1995 they achieved full operational capability which basically means that you could position yourself instantaneously anywhere on the earth 24 7 except if you walked inside a building or under a tree. You see unlike a mobile phone where when it's working you're usually within three kilometres of a mobile phone tower the GPS signals are coming from 20,000 kilometres out in space. So by the time the signals reach Earth, they're very weak. Nevertheless, recent uh, design has improved the receivers so that we can use them for a whole range of different applications, for car navigation systems, for iPhones, for uh, ATMs, have GPS in them for timing applications, but the problem still remains. The signals are weak and if you lose lock, you can no longer locate yourself. These days, uh, modern buildings are fitted out so that you can connect wirelessly to the internet, but they're still just as easy to get lost in. Wouldn't it be great if we could walk into a building and have a device lead us to the correct floor and the correct room so that we could find where we're going? Uh, Dr. Bing Hao Lee is a researcher in the School of Surveying and Spatial Information Systems and he's recently won some project funding to investigate an interesting application for indoor positioning. So if we can't use GPS indoors, is there another way of positioning ourselves? The answer is yes. Actually we have many methods can be used for indoor positioning. Wi-Fi is one of them. Nowadays you have many devices can access Wi-Fi. Um, basically, we use cell ID for Wi-Fi positioning, but not very accurate. And the most common way we use is called fingerprinting. So it's not fingerprint of human beings, it's a fingerprint of the environment. So basically, if you stand here, so you have a Wi-Fi enabled device, you can receive a lot of signal strengths from access point. So this signal strength describes the environment just like a fingerprint. So if you keep all these um, fingerprint in the database, then in the future, if you want to locate yourself, so you can send the signal strengths you received, and the database use a special algorithm can find your location. Ah, so is this a Wi-Fi positioning device here? Yes, this is the first generation of G form. So basically, you can see here, the red dot is ah, your yeah. location. Uh -huh. And this is the um, system developed by University of New South Wales. And we are going to expand the whole system to cover the whole university campus. And we are using Wi-Fi for indoor and Wi-Fi plus GPS for outdoor positioning. And this is the tag, Wi-Fi tag can be used to check the important uh, equipment. And the accuracy of this system can be one meter if we survey the area very carefully. Uh, a quick survey can give you room level accuracy and there are a couple of systems around in the market. Uh, hang on, so if there's already commercial systems on the market, what's the point of your research? Well, there's still a lot of problems. Uh, for example, first of all, you have to survey the area of interest. And second, if the environment change, you have to survey the area again. And thirdly, the accuracy itself has to be improved. And recently, we secured a funding for a BVI, Blind and Vision Impaired Project, to provide navigation and information for them. So it's a great chance to try and address all these challenges. Well, here we are. Ah, great.